Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I want to give you a tour of the inside of our house and show you our Christmas decorations. And I know it's late, but we're going to try to make this video happen. It's actually late at night too. We had a Christmas party we went to tonight. It's almost midnight at this point. Benjamin's asleep in bed. Um, but I wanted to start the tour out here because this is our front formal entrance and I just wanted it to feel like you guys were a guest coming into our home. Um, I did do a video where I kind of put this area together. If you haven't seen it, we will link it down below. But my favorite part are these trees right here. These are from Plow and Hearth with the red cardinals and they're just so sparkly and they're the right scale up here. I've just really, really enjoyed them. And I actually did a little bit less than I normally do. Usually I put an artificial tree inside the sun porch that has lights on it, but Aaron did a ton of exterior lights. Um, we'll link that video down below as well, where we kind of finished up the lights and gave you a tour. But I did put a bunch of these fun candles in the windows just to give that nice warm glow. But let's go inside because it's freezing. Oh, look, there's Russell. Hi, buddy. This is the greeting committee. So this side of our house was built in 1908 and there's a lot of really pretty detail, I think. A lot of beautiful moldings. The doorways are gorgeous. Like these are pocket doors, original. Uh, and both of these rooms have this type of door. There's a beautiful staircase right here that I did put a little bit of Christmas on. There's some uh, artificial garland. I switched to doing all artificial in the house just because we have wood fireplaces, wood heat, and it dries everything out really quickly. Plus these don't make a mess, so it's really nice. I have a Santa Claus right here and I'd really like to start collecting Santas, but I'm really picky about the way their faces look. Some of them have like real creepy eyes and stuff. So that's gonna probably be a pretty slow collection for me. Um, but there's some really gorgeous details, you guys, like all over this side of the house, like those right there, I don't even know what those are called, but all the stairs have them. Um, that came from MPG Planters last year. It was in one of our mail time videos. I unboxed them, there's another one right here. Um, and they just kind of look like a vintage tree topper to me. I think they're kind of fun. And then this area right here, I actually staged very quickly for a picture for something Aaron and I were working on and I just left it that way. So I really didn't work on this too much, but it just is very kind of natural and simple. And you'll notice a few house plants throughout this part of the house. So this room right here is what we call the front parlor. A lot of the rooms we call the same names that the previous owners called them. Um, and it kind of is. I just recently painted this room. So when we moved in, it was kind of a uh, really soft yellow color, but it had kind of a green in the background um, and it didn't really go with my stuff very well. So I took down, there were some really uh, heavy drapes. They were like maroon colored. I just took those down and then painted it this cozy green gray. Um, it's called Thunder Gray from Sherwin, Sherwin Williams. It's one of my favorites. It's the same color that's in our great room. And I know a lot of you guys have asked what color that is. Um, it's a color my mom used in her entryway and I asked her like, can I just use that color all over my house because I love it. Um, but I did uh, do a tree in here. So this is the Nutcracker themed tree and I feel like I got a pretty good like amount of decorations for this tree. This is the one that we showed you how I put my ribbons and how I make like how I put the ribbons on the tree and how I make my bows. I found a bunch of Nutcracker nutcrackers, they were not ornaments, they were just nutcrackers at the dollar store and then I hot glued a piece of twine to the top so that it made them into kind of ornaments. And then I just kind of found some inexpensive ornaments to fill in the rest of this tree. Um, so I have some red cardinals in here. Um, these were some of the ornaments I had left over from the dollar store decorating challenge last year. I got some inexpensive red glitter, I love these things. The icicle, glittery icicles, I have gold ones on one of my trees and silver ones on another tree. And I thought the red would go really well here. I just kind of wanted this one to be more like a red and green uh, kind of theme with nutcrackers. Uh, Aaron actually got me these chairs for Christmas last year and they've kind of sat in here with not a whole lot around them up until this point. I just kind of this last year have started adding a little bit more into this side of the house. Um, the mantle here, oh you guys, this fireplace is just my favorite. Look at this, I lit a fire for you guys so you could see what it looks like up here, like how cozy it is. I've got a couple house plants down here and then the mantle, I just um, threw my extra nutcrackers up here and I actually have my garland from fall still up there. I didn't really have anything I wanted to use up here so I just decided to leave that. It's kind of rich colors anyway, gold and a lot of bronze and I thought it went well with my lamps that I have. And this is the first year I was able to use all three of my stocking holders. 
How fun is that? I picked these up at Salvation Army when Aaron and I first got married. They were black when I bought them. I think I got them for like $3 and I spray painted them gold and I've only ever been able to use two uh, for Aaron in my stocking. And one of you guys sent out this personalized stocking holder from Pottery Barn and the message on the tag that came with it was cut off. So I don't know who sent this. I would love to, I hope you see this video and you see that we have it hanging and that we love it and thank you so much. That was such a sweet thing to send out. Um, around the rest of this ha uh, room, I have a Joyful Tidings picture. This is just one I put up during Christmas time. It's kind of dark, so it, it's not like the best picture to have up against this paint. I'm gonna look for a bunch of pictures that have really kind of heavy gold frames. I think that'll look really pretty and contrast nicely on this color of wall. But when you don't have anything else, this looks pretty good. Uh, in the windows, I have faux boxwood wreaths and I tied them up with some really thick wired ribbon and I just attached them on top of the molding with thumbtacks. I think I used four, th four thumbtacks up on the top there, uh, but I love the look of wreaths and windows with the little warm candles right beneath. Look how sweet this is. Russell. This is like Russell's throne. He loves this chair. Um, I found this nativity, not nativity, I always want to call advent calendars nativities. This is an advent calendar pillow, and you can see I'm falling down on my duties because I have it on day seven. <laughs> um, what are we on now? Day 21, I think, or 20, 22. Anyway, um, but I thought it was really pretty. Uh, and then I've just got a couple of things on this shelf, and I'm sorry, you guys, it's so dark in here. But I bought this because I thought Benjamin would enjoy it. It's a little nutcracker snow globe. So I think that this would be a really fun room to kind of keep a Nutcracker theme going every year and maybe add some more pieces from year to year, have a collection, and then I have a Merry Christmas sign in there, a gold one. So let's move into the dining room. There's some fun stuff going on in here. Let's talk about the obvious first. On the dining table, we have some gingerbread houses. We had a party where my grandparents came over, my niece and nephew, um, my brother and his wife, my sister who lives six hours away from here, and my parents. We decorated gingerbread houses and it was so much fun. Um, it was mostly the girls up here decorating. Um, so there's my grandma's, my niece's, who she is five. My mom's, this one's mine here, and then my sister's. And I just left them. I actually had a centerpiece built, decorated, and I took it apart for the party. And then I just really can't bear to take these down. It's a total mess. Like there's just junk all over this little, I put this down to protect the table. Um, so I'll probably just leave it up till Christmas is over, enjoy looking at them, and then I'll probably toss them. Um, right here is our silver and white tree, which this tree I actually decorated in the room next to us, and I swapped the two trees. So I started our dollar, st dollar store tree decorating challenge in here. This year I was doing a snowman themed tree, and when I started putting the color on the tree, it just looked horrible in this room. There was um, really heavy curtains, and it took that video, it took me starting to film something in here to realize how much I needed to get the curtains down. And I didn't even realize that these moldings existed. How sad is that? I was so excited when I realized, like we've lived in this house for over three years. Um, and I just learned that we had these beautiful, beautiful windows. I probably won't put curtains back up in here because I just think they're so pretty. Um, I did put some flocked wreaths here with some tartan red plaid ribbon. Um, tartan plaid is one of my favorites. And then of course the little candles, which look so pretty from outside. Right here, I have a set of trees, which I don't even know what they're made out of, but they're kind of bristly. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they're really pretty and I think the color is nice. Like there's some little berries in there, but they're kind of muted. I don't know how to explain that. I just like the look. And then this is an arrangement I made a few weeks ago, two weeks ago, I can't remember, it's been a while. Um, I went out into the garden and just picked some stuff because I didn't really have anything big to put right here. And you can see I don't have any pictures on the walls in here because I just haven't focused on decorating this side of the house yet. And I'm slowly filling up the house with things that I really like. Um, so it's gonna be a slow process. I don't wanna just throw anything up on the wall. So, um, but it has dried and so I think it looks really pretty. I'll leave it here for a little while until I figure out what else I wanna do. Um, anything else in this room? I think that kind of does it for Christmas stuff. I mean, I've got a little pine cone garland right here. Oh, these are Christmas, little gold Christmas trees. Kind of forgot I had those right there. That must've been one of the first things I put out. 
this year. So let's move into this room. This is the landing and I love this room. And I think it's called the landing because you kind of land here from multiple different locations. This right here is our laundry room. So I'm gonna close the door. <laughs> um, and then, you know, the dining room leads here, the front entryway comes right here and then there's a coat closet, closet right in front of me. Um, so we've got in here for Christmas stuff. This is my um, dud of a amaryllis display. They are growing, but they just started to push their little stalks. So these are gonna probably be Valentine's bloomers, which it's okay. I'm super glad I did the little dried arrangement around it because other, otherwise I'd have just like moss and nothing to look at. I have a little, this is a crushed glass reindeer that Russell keeps knocking over. I keep coming up here and finding it on the floor and then there's like dried hydrangea pieces everywhere. Ah, between Russell and Benjamin this year, I'm surprised my trees are all in one piece. This is the dollar store tree decorating challenge right here. Um, we just got a really cute snowman ornament. One of you guys sent out one of these. In fact, all of our trees this year have new ornaments on them from you guys. I've received so many ornaments and I love it. That's one of my favorite things to get, especially when they're coming from like Ireland and England. I think I've got um, somebody from Australia sent something um, and then all over the country. It's just been so fun. Um, and I'm writing everything down uh, so that I can remember, but this one came in today. But I have really enjoyed this tree. It's such a departure from what I normally do. Um, we'll link that video down below if you wanna take a look at it. What the challenge is, is to go to the dollar store and deck out an entire tree with only things I can find there. Um, and it's actually really not that hard. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be more challenging, um, but they've got a pretty, our dollar store anyway, has a pretty good selection. I only went to one store. Um, so anyway, I think this has been really fun. And I think Benjamin will enjoy this, having something a little bit more like kid-ish with the snowman. I have nothing else like it. Um, and then I did around the house put up just a few sparkly wreaths. I got them on sale big time at Joann's like for, I don't know, five, seven dollars, something like that. I always wait till this like late in the season and then I start picking up stuff at really good deals. So if you look down from here, you can see this is where the addition of the house was uh, in the 80s. So this is our kitchen. Um, I am actually at a point now, since we're so close to Christmas, I am kind of excited to take Christmas down for only one reason, down here anyway. Um, Benjamin in his walker, he can walk right up to these trees and just pull on everything. And it's all sparkly and it's all colorful and he loves it. Um, so we're trying to teach him to stay away from the trees. And I've actually had some lights burn out in this tree in several spots. So I'm gonna have to work on that. But this one was our dollar store tree from last year. I kind of went with a traditional theme and did red plaid and, and gold and a lot of red. Uh, and I enjoyed it so much that I decided to put that whole tree back up. Um, and these little skinny ones, these are the Brinkley pre-lit Christmas trees from Walmart. They're $59 for the tree. And I usually put so much stuff on my trees. You can't really tell like the, Art, how artificial they are. Um, I am looking for a new tree for our great room, which we'll look at that here in a minute. Um, so if the rest of the stuff in the kitchen, I did put together this arrangement in this, like, I don't know what kind of like metal, some kind of metal um, container because I needed something that I could easily move off. So when we entertain, this is a really, really nice island to put like all of your drink stuff and you can like, we had pizzas the night we did the gingerbread house thing and you can remove this and just line up all your pizzas with your plates and you have tons of space. Um, so it's nice to do an arrangement in something that you can move. And I have a sparkly tree that actually lights up if you can get underneath it, but it's kind of hard with all the stuff I put around it. Um, there's some white mums, which I had an amor, what did I have there? Alstromerias right there that I got really early in the season. And then I've got my clove studded oranges which we didn't do a video on this this year, which I meant to, but I love doing these. They're a really fun kind of natural uh, decoration. A couple of the oranges I've had to toss because they've rotted, but a lot of them just dry really nicely and are just wonderful to use. Uh, and then I've got a couple of candles. I wanted to show you this one. My mom just got this for me. This is from Illum. Balsam and Cedar is the scent and it's nice. I really like it a lot. Um, it's very strong though, so I'll like burn it for an hour or two and then uh, cap the candle, which is really nice to not have to burn it all the time to have a really nice smell. 
I bought a garland at Home Depot. It was an expensive garland, but I really wanted, um, like it was expensive to me. I think it's 12 feet long and it was $50. It was pre-lit, has battery operated LEDs and I would not buy it again. <laughs> I like the way the garland looks, like it has a lot of the real kind of look to it, the real evergreen, but those lights, I've gone through four sets of batteries already this season and they only turn on, they're on timers. Um, they only turn on for a certain amount of hours. Uh, so I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if I got a lemon or what, but. So next year I'll probably cut the lights out or try to take them out somehow and put my own lights that I can plug in so I'm not having to get up there and replace batteries all the time. Um, the rest right here, this is really neat. First of all, you're, you'll notice a bunch of Benjamin stuff around here. This is his walker. Um, I threw, this is my old advent calendar, uh, but I threw it up because it's just a nice color. And then this is one side of our fireplace. So the biggest side is on our great room, which we'll go into in a second. Um, and then this little side gives you a peek in, into the fire, which I love. So I can cook in here and watch the fire. I can also watch Benjamin, look you guys. He's asleep. So sweet. I also have some seeds started. I have got spring fever bad. So I've got lettuce in three of these and basil in one. It's not quite quenching my need to be outside though. These are the amaryllis from Gardener's Supply. This one's called Papa, Popov. Look at that. Isn't that the most glorious thing? So there are a total of four blooms on the top of this stalk that are huge. And then we've got another stalk starting right here. And then these are ex looking exciting too. We've got two stalks going on this one and two stalks on this one. Can't remember what colors they are, but I think they're all kind of variations of a white and red. Okay, into the great room we go. This is Benjamin's Christmas tree <laughs> right here. I bought this for him early on because it actually plays music. There's a train that goes around the base of it. This was at Home Depot for like 20 some dollars. And we decided not to put a tree up in Benjamin's nursery this year because we hardly ever turn lights on in that room because we only put go in there to put him down for naps and for bedtime. Um, and the lights just, you know, obviously don't create a sleeping environment. So we decided to do this one and maybe next year we'll put a tree up possibly the year after that. I still wanna do kind of an animal theme probably. In fact, I wanted to show you guys these. I brought these down. Um, Robin, who has followed us for a long time from Southern California, handmade these ornaments for Benjamin for his tree. And they, she and her husband came up and visited the garden center. I got to meet them. It was so fun. So anyway, I, these things are just so special. When you guys send anything to us, we just, we cherish everything. All the cards and all these things are just so special. So this right here is my biggest tree. This is a nine and a half nine, nine foot tree. Um, and it's one that I would love to replace. I want to get one that looks a little more natural, you know, that has kind of more of a natural look on the outside instead of being so shorn looking. I don't, I mean, I want it to look like a Christmas tree, but I want it to look a little bit more airy, if that makes sense. And everybody, uh, I mentioned that in a video before and all of you guys told me to look at like Balsam Hill, which my parents have one of those trees and it is very pretty. We might have to look into getting one of those. Um, it, this one's great for now, and it may be something I put up next year again. This tree looks pretty much the same as last year, um, except for a few new ornaments that have gone on to the tree. Um, but, you know, you do, what you, you do what you do, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if you guys, like, I know some people change up their trees every single year, and I'm such a creature of habit. Like, once I get my furniture in place, I don't move it for a really long time. I mean, I'll move stuff around in the garden like crazy, but inside, I'm a little bit more, I don't know. I let stuff stagnate a little bit. Um, so we'll see what happens with this tree. I do like the colors though. I like keeping this mostly gold and white with just little bits of red. And a lot of these ornaments have come from my parents, like when they travel or they always get, give me ornaments for Christmas because it's one of my favorites. Um, but I went over all of that in a video. In fact, I did a video earlier where I decorated five of our Christmas trees and I've got eight up total. So we'll link that down below. I don't know if I already said that, but we'll link that video down below if you wanna see more of the decorating process. Oh, and 
one of you guys sent out this Christmas tree for Benjamin, which he loves. Uh, you can see his walker and his truck. I just turned that on. So this is kind of Benjamin land down here. I mean, this, this is his cupboard full of toys. He has a lawnmower down here, but this is kind of where he hangs out. Um, so we just have all of his stuff out. There's a bunch of books he's currently into right now on a train. I don't know, I think it makes it look alive and fun. Um, right here is the succulent arrangement I made in the sleigh. It's doing really, really well down here. It's been in the sleigh for a few weeks now. Um, I don't intend on keeping all the succulents in here because obviously it's not close enough to a window where it's gonna be happy long term. Um, but I knew I just wanted to have a little centerpiece in here uh, with them and then I'll use the succulents in something else and put them in a more appropriate spot. The mantle, I almost didn't decorate this year. I wasn't really into it. I, by the time I got all my trees done, I thought, you know what, I just really don't wanna do much here. And I really didn't. I went and got a couple like nine foot garlands and I think they look really pretty. They start by the wall and they just kind of swag around and then I just put some little mustard kind of mustard yellow ribbon there and made a couple uh, arrangements from the garden. Everything else was already here. Like I put these ferns, I planted these ferns in the pots on either side right after New Year's last, or no, it was after Benjamin was born. Um, I had the, my Christmas mantle stayed up until like mid-February, I think, because Benjamin was born in January and everything kind of stopped for a little while. But I put some um, neat looking books out in the ferns. And then this uh, garland was from, from fall. This one matches the garland on our other mantle. Uh, there's not any other Christmas things, I don't think, in here. I mean, I have a poinsettia right here on the table. Um, there's my fig, you guys. A lot of you guys have asked how my fig is doing and it has grown quite a bit. Like it was, like this is all new right here since we did the video. I need to turn it. It's time to turn it because it all wants to kind of like go to the window eventually. But it's very healthy, doing really well. So this area right here, I haven't really done much with. This is kind of a hallway. This is the third side of the fireplace right here. And it's also where we keep our wood trolley and like paper to start fires. Last year though, it was so full of junk back here. I avoided this whole area. I didn't want any of you guys to see it because it was just piles of cardboard. This is where we kept our cardboard. Right now it goes to recycle um, and we were using it last year to start fires and now we have newspaper anyway. Um, but I found a really pretty buffet and I put a little ar arrangement of mums here. Everything else is like stays here the rest of the time. And then I put another one of those sparkly wreaths right here and Benjamin tries to get this one. Like all of a sudden I won't hear him anymore. Like it'll get real quiet. I'll come around the corner and he's reaching as hard as he can from his walker to get this. He can't quite reach it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, and then right back here, <laughs> this is where we keep Benjamin's stroller. Move it out of the way. Um, this is a, our, my vintage Santa tree, which looks kind of like my dollar store tree from last year because I used plaid ribbon on both. Um, but these ha this one has ornaments that are mostly Santa Claus. And I like this look right here. I think they're really pretty. Lots of different ones, lots of red, lots of gold. Um, and I think that that's it. I have a poinsettia over here. And of course I have tartan plaid stuff out like these pillows. Oh, Benjamin's up, hold on. All right, so I'm not sure where we had to cut right there because I could hear Benjamin crying through the monitor. So I went upstairs and he wanted a bottle and some love. So anyway, I got him back down, he's sleeping again. Um, so I think I was just showing you the tartan plaid um, kind of details in this room that actually stay out year round because I like them so much. So the rest of my Christmas stuff is actually upstairs. I did decorate three little areas um, this year, uh, but Benjamin is asleep up there. I think I'll be able to show you one of the trees and kind of explain it talking softly, but the other two areas are right by his bedroom. So I'm not gonna be able to talk at all. Otherwise he will wake up. So I will show them to you silently kind of, I'll talk over the footage that we get and kind of explain what I've done. So let's head up the stairs. So this is the tree in Aaron in my bedroom and it's the only real tree in our whole house and it feels really good to have a real tree again, at least somewhere. I figured I could get away with it, putting it in here because it's far away from our wood stoves. Um, so I figured it wouldn't dry out quite as fast, but it is like this tree is not drinking very well. Sometimes you get them that drink really well and that'll drink long through the season. And this one just has been a slow drinker. So it's starting to kind of dry up a bit 
um, but I just wanted to decorate this one super simply. I didn't want to have a bunch of fuss, um, a bunch of ribbons. I did put some little bows in here. I didn't really do a major topper on this tree, just like some small bows. And then I dried some oranges and I dried apples in the oven. I just put the oven on 200 degrees and then put them on um, just orange and apple slices untreated on cookie sheets and then just dry them for a few hours. Um, and they usually do really, really well. And then I found some galvanized snowflake ornaments at the craft store on sale and then some wood bead garland that I thought would be kind of sweet in a tree like this but I've really enjoyed the smell in here, just the simplicity of it. It's right on my side of the bed. Um, so when I wake up, I get to see it like really close up and I just love it. So now we'll head out to the other two areas I've got decorated. So this is the black and gold tree that I showed you guys in our tree decorating vlog, um, but it has a few new ornaments since that video came out that you guys have sent over, but I really enjoy the sparkle up here. It kind of fills in this corner nicely. I do work on the ribbons throughout the season. I kind of have to re-separate them every once in a while and fix any ribbons that maybe Russell or Benjamin have pulled on. And there's Russell right now, probably plotting something. And here's a cute little animal garland that one of you sent out to Benjamin right after he was born. And the last area is this table right here. I just did it in kind of silver and whites and I'll probably leave it out through the new year. I've got a white poinsettia that's doing really well. I really like that plant right there. And then there's some sparkly silver trees, a white flocked garland, and some white and green variegated houseplants. So anyway guys, that is a tour of all the Christmas stuff that's inside of our house and I cannot believe we almost didn't get this video done this year. We've had so many comments and messages from you guys requesting another holiday decor tour. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you guys all have a very Merry Christmas. Bye.